Hello, little monsters. How are you today? You know, there's been a lot of talk about zombies lately, so I have a little public service announcement to help you out. That's right, your old Uncle Fright is going to tell you how to survive a zombie apocalypse. I was zombies come in many shapes and sizes, and a lot of things can turn a person into a zombie. Well, a meteor from space can come down and the radiation can turn you into a zombie, or voodoo can turn you into a zombie, or some kind of government experiment at a government installation, like I said, they can turn you into a zombie. But there are a few things you should know. One, zombies are no longer human. You cannot reason with a zombie at all. The only way to get rid of a zombie is to kill it, okay? Two, zombies only want one thing, human flesh. That's it. That's all they want. So if you're a skeleton, you're safe. Other than that, run. Number three, and this is very, very important. Infection is usually spread by a bite. Whatever you do, avoid a zombie's mouth at all costs, okay? Because you get bit, that's it. Now the second important thing is make sure if there is a zombie apocalypse that you stay home. Do not try to be like everybody else, get caught in traffic, things like that, because if one of those little suckers a bit, it takes 30 minutes to an hour, next thing you know he looks like a regular person. Next thing you know, he's biting the guy next to you and then it spreads all over the place and then you're caught in a curmudgeon. You know what I mean? So whatever you do, stay home. Number three, make sure you fortify your house, okay? Now, if you're living in a regular house, you want to board up the windows, you want to board up the doors, things like that, because zombies are like bugs. They're like roaches. If there's a way in, they'll get in. Now, if you live in an apartment building, make sure you barricade down the hall, things like that, not just your apartment, because I'll tell you what, they'll come in right through the walls, just like a roach. So make sure you barricade your apartments. Now, we're going to talk about weapons. Pretty much anything can be used as a weapon. You could take a lamp, uh, you can use a tchotchke around the house, it's very nice. Anything you can use to bash the head in of a zombie. That's all you need. Also, you can use pens, ballpoint pens. You don't want to use felt tip pens because they're very soft when they're going in. Uh, screwdrivers, knives, anything like that that could penetrate the skull. That's all you need to get that, you know, the brain not working. Turn it into mush. That's what you got to do. Okay? Now, a lot of people want to use guns, but with guns come noise. Okay, and when you make a noise, what happens? More zombies come, and you only got so many bullets. You know what I'm saying? So, try, if all possible, not to use a gun if you don't have to. Try to use something, you know, baseball bat is good. You just wham, you know what I'm saying? Strike, there you go. That's what you gotta do, all right? So try to use blunt instruments to bash in the heads of the zombies. Now, something very, very important and emotional. You have to check your emotions at the door, okay? If a loved one or someone beloved gets bitten by a zombie, chances are they're coming after you, okay? So you can't just, you know, try to take care of them. It's not going to work. It never works. You've seen the movies. I'm telling you right now, if one of your loved ones turns into a zombie, shoot him in the head, okay? Knock him out, smash the brain, get rid of him. Remember the movie Mice and Men with the rabbits? Remember that? Tell us about the rabbits, George. Yeah, remember that? Okay, you have to do that, okay? You have to do that. You have to take care of business, okay? So please, put the emotions on the wayside. One more very important thing. If you're trapped in a place or you're going to stay in your house while the zombie apocalypse is going out right outside your window, make sure you have plenty of food stocked up in the house. 
you need water, you need some munchies, potato chips maybe, some popcorn just in case you're going to watch a movie. You know, make sure you have very well supplied house or apartment that you can hide out in. Okay? And one of the best things to have for you, you know, if, if you don't have too much food, one of the best things to have that is very, very good for you is Crunchy Monster Cereal with real marshmallow maggots. Mmm!